Hello everybody, uh, it's the, it's the um, 2nd of April today, 2022, and I'm looking at this root over rock willow from a cutting, which I'm trying to do in the conventional way, um, as opposed to a fusion root over rock. Um, the problem I've got with this, uh, it was chopped right back at the beginning, and uh, has since grown really tall but all the new growth is coming right at the end which is where I don't actually want it and I'm not entirely sure how the roots are growing I don't want to disturb them just yet I will insert um, some video from when I put this together here so that you can see what I did um, and uh, what I'm going to do might make a little bit more sense. Then whilst I was out walking Cooper the other day I spotted that rock on the path and uh, picked it up, put it in my pocket, brought it home and then I've had a rummage um, and I found this goat willow which I think uh, I might be able to do something with. Oh, no. Okay, so I do have a piece of wire here. Some reasonable roots. Now, do we go with something like this? Mm. That's a possibility. Oh, it's got a nice flat top, this rock. It would be nice to use its entire height if I could. Um, something like that would be quite nice. Yeah, now that's... that's um, definitely got a possibility to it. An idea I thought I would try is to try and hold the tree in place using um, grappling tape. This is biodegradable. I like to try new things because I know the tree was growing reasonably well in this soil. Um, I'm going to put a layer of that in the bottom of this pot. Like so. And then I'm going to stand the tree into that soil. A little bit round the base, uh, and then I've got a piece of old drinks bottle which I am going to lower over the whole thing. That's all I'm going to do, and uh, I have absolutely no idea whether it will work or not. The tree will be well watered, well fed, and allowed to grow um, as much as it wants. 
it won't get pruned in any way shape or form I'm just going to let the top grow to power these roots at the bottom and uh, we'll see what it does um, it can go either way it can be a great success or it may be a complete failure Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure of the eventual size of this tree, only that it's not going to be one of my larger trees, it's going to be a smaller tree. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, bearing in mind I'm trying to remember the size of the rock that the roots are over, is chop it down, make it easier to handle, um, encourage the tree to grow a bit more taper, Uh, all of this is uh, much of a thickness really so mm. I don't even know if I want to keep this as a branch but I'm going to just shorten it rather than remove it entirely and then what I'm going to try and do is get it out of this pot into a shallower a shallower pan into one of these uh, seed tray uh, the words left my brain for a second then into a seed tray without disturbing this upper part which is where the root is um, well the root most of the root was wrapped around a rock as you'll have seen oh dear words mumbling not together today let's uh, get the um, let's get the potting tray in to hold any mess in as you can see the tree was getting uh, quite advanced in its uh, springness as it were but let's uh, hold it back for a second the trick is going to be trying to get it out of this pot without losing everything up top you can see it's full of root which is a good sign um, that should make it fairly easy but it's coming away from this pot to get into a flat seed tray in fact I think I'm pretty much going to be there or thereabouts even as we speak um, yeah so let's just loosen these roots up so that they can get out into the new compost and not keep going round and round and round that's going to work beautifully okay happy with that and bonus no sign of any vine weevil Now strangely, I'm going to leave this stuff as a layer in the bottom of the pot because this being a willow, that's a very thirsty tree, this will hold a nice little reservoir in the bottom of the pot of moisture um, and that will help keep the tree alive and well which is always a bonus I think you'll find okay so I'm going to use my regular mix with, but with just a slightly um, more organic content than normal because of it being a willow as they say that that layer of regular composting at the bottom will help hold in moisture give the tree something to root down into and um, willows don't like to dry out at all so I may even end up putting it on a source of water if we have a particularly hot summer some controlled release fertilizer mixed in 
and then I'm completely unsure as to which is going to be my front or my back or which way around the rock was facing but that's okay that's all something we can work on later once we've built a trunk um, and the roots around this rock so I'm going to fill this in Okay, so that's that. Um, I might have got this completely wrong. I possibly should have gone back and watched my old video. Because um, honestly, I'm not sure where the rock starts uh, and where the tree finishes at this point. So it's an adventure for all of us. What I'm going to do right now is... I can get these scissors, which are my old root pruning scissors, to cut this plastic. I'm going to remove a section of it. And have a look. It's not often I'm removing this layer of moss and there is the top of it, the root ball and I can see some of the grafting tape that was wrapped around to hold the roots tightly to the tree so I think that's all I'm going to take off for now um, we'll let this tree grow on this year. Do I want to remove a little more? No, I think I want to remove a little more. Maybe another three quarters of an inch. I want the roots to begin to um, become above ground roots rather than low ground roots and begin to grow the bark etc of above ground roots so take off that like that and then we can just I have some roots that are going out into nowhere and they will gradually die off, dry up, fall away. Um, that will encourage the tree to put out some more, but hopefully it will encourage these roots to thicken up. I, guess I have two at least, now three really thick roots, I even find just here a corner of the rock. So we are indeed getting there. The grafting tape, which is supposed to rot away, being biodegradable, hasn't yet, which is good, I guess. It's holding it in place. A little bit more out of there. There we have it. Okay. So, this is kind of phase two, and then next year we can remove a little more of the plastic as we go down, and eventually we should have some nice fat clinging roots over the nice fat rock. And let's give you a close-up. Let's get it on the turntable and give you a proper close-up. Okay, so you can see... As I said, the grafting tape, there's the rock and the roots and uh, the tree is doing its thing, encasing the rock with its roots and hopefully that grafting tape is holding it all together in here. As I say, I can't actually remember how tall the rock was, but squeezing this I can feel something hard 
and firm, which I assume is the rock, because I know it filled this um, section of drinks bottle almost completely. Let me know down in the comments section what you think. Um, is it better than doing the fusion route over rock? Oh, it's just different. I think I enjoy doing the fusion route over rocks, and uh, there'll be a video out on those in a short while. Um, in the meantime, continue working on this. I don't think the fusions are a, a shortcut um, in terms of getting the roots to grip the rock, but they're definitely a shortcut in getting a thick trunk with a thick a thick taper. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. With extreme taper, without growing a tree in the ground for four or five years, chopping it um, and regrowing. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. There's really not very much to say for it now that it's um, all chopped about and uh, cut down, but it's ready for its next stage in development. And we're slowly creating some movement and some taper, and we will reap the benefits from that at a future date. Click 360 as is, and uh, just for once I'm not seeing anything I want more I want to do to it. Please, please, please. Do take care of yourselves, everybody. Do the usual YouTube things, the liking, the subscribing, the hitting the, the notification bell, all that jazz. But most of all, stay safe, everybody.